food? Where did I put it? In here? Worm food. To the corruption! Quick! Go away! I must embrace the darkness! And begin! There we go. Yeah, look at that damage. Alright, let's throw some Jester's arrows at him. Rid of that stupid thing. Ah! I forgot his uh, segments spit at you. I got a little hasty. I can still do this. It's just gonna... Well, it's gonna take a little more effort than what I just tried. Stop shooting arrows! talk to the guide because I want to make sure I know how to remake that. Okay, I need more of both for that. And while I'm at it... Okay, yeah, I just need gem, which I got plenty of. Back to the corruption. Ugh. Maybe I should just try and fight the... What's it called? The Slime King again. Although somehow I feel like he's gonna be harder. Okay. Well, I'm gonna need some more vile mushrooms. Find more orbs. That would make this so much easier. Let's go ahead and grab the slime crown. Actually, I think if I can get myself a hunter potion and just build an arena, the underground might actually be an easier place to fight the Eater of Worlds. Because when it's all open in the air like that, his segments are going to have an easier time using their vile spit. But if they're not, then, you know, down here, they're gonna have to try and shoot through the walls, and I don't think they can. So, I think that would probably be the best way to go about this, is fighting him down here. Just in a smarter way. I actually have an idea. But, I can't really enact on it yet. First of all, I need more bombs, since I still can't dig up the Ebon Stone. stars. Oh, I got some death weed. That doesn't help me. I need mushrooms. Ah, there's one. And there's another. Okay, I think that was all I needed. stars. Alright, I think that's enough gathering stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go back to base. Where'd that worm?
farm go. I really need to remember to bring my, um... What's it called? Potions of Recall with me. So I can just get out of there. Get out of dodge. Nice and quick. Let's just get rid of these. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I need to get out of here before I get swarmed again. Man, mushrooms are growing back pretty quick. Okay, back in the safety of town. Where's the guy? Oh, he's over here. Chilling by the fireplace. Alright. Yeah, I need a bunch of that. Is there anything else I can use these for? No, just the powder. Okay, so like, I just, just turned that into powder uh, wantonly. Now, the other thing I want to look at is... Where is it? I think it's a yellowish potion. This, the hunter potion. Okay, so I need day blooms, blink roots, and shark fins. I do have all of those ingredients. I just need to get them all together. So that's good. The jungle surface, I can get a catfish. Huh. You know what? I can go to the jungle surface pretty easily. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try and complete an angler quest. Uh, but first... I wanna make bile powder. Where is it? Dylan! Where do I make the stuff? Bottle. There we go. Alright, let me just check for existing blink roots and day blooms. Negative. I do need that. Put this all the way. Wait, no, not that. Not that. I need that. Alright. Blink roots and day blooms. Blink roots and day blooms. I ain't seen them. Oh, wait. Blink roots! Excellent! Check down here first. Okay, yeah, that box is basically empty at this point. And in the desert we have a can of worms. That's helpful. Cause I'm about to go fish. Got seven worms and an enchanted night crawler. You know what? Let's make some more enchanted night crawlers. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for Daybloom while I'm moseying on over to the uh, to the jungle. Here we are. Jungle time. Jungle fish in the jungle. Tetra. Bass. Ow. Yeah, that's right. You better float top away. 
You too. Hmm. This water might actually be a little too close to um, the forest biome. I'm gonna move to a different body of water. This one's a little small. I mean, it's wide, but it's not that deep. Except in a spot where it isn't all that wide. I probably should have just worked for the ocean biome. And gotten here faster. The jungle is also on my list of places to make, uh... Make housing in. Just not yet. Hmm. Oh, there looks like there might be a suitable body of water up ahead. Yeah. This'll work. Oh, this'll work perfectly. First, let's get rid of this annoyance. There we go. No need for none of that. And I'll just fish from the wall. Neon Tetra. Jungle Bat. Jerk Bat. I got a tin can. Catching trash. Ooh, a crate. Crates are good. They're basically like treasure boxes that you hold in your inventory. And I know there's a various number of different kinds of crates. Wooden crate is the most basic kind, but. Hey, I won't complain about loot. I will, however, complain about trash. I don't even know what the bass is for, other than maybe cooking. I mean, these basic fish can also be used in certain potion recipes, I know that much. I'm pretty sure the Neon Tetra is used for, like, the Shine Potion, maybe. Oh, catfish, I got it. All right, then I'm just going to reel in this next one. gonna go to the ocean biome for their pylon. I'm pretty sure that they're closer than the desert to where I am right now. Should mention one thing about quest fish like that. Um, they don't... thought I might have had Dave in that box. Um, where was I? They only spawn if the angler is looking for that specific fish. So, like, if he wasn't asking for the catfish, I would have never caught a catfish. That's just how it works. I also know that later on, I can get an item that makes it a little bit easier to um, catch stuff I care about. But I need 
items that I don't have for that. Alright, I still want to get more day bloom. I only got one on my way over. Oh, there's one. Oh, and another. Mr. The Quest Maker. Awesome catch. It's all going according to plan. And he gave us... I didn't even see what he gave us. What did he give us? I legitimately don't know what he gave us. Oh, he gave us the crate potions. Gives you a better chance of getting... <gasps> Hunter potion! All right! Got that out of the crate! That was what I actually wanted. Yes, quest rewards tend to be pretty random um, buffs. A lot of times it's fishing based. Sometimes it's a little more relevant. Oh man, though. All right, let's get a couple more hunter potions. Another iron skin. I've still got plenty of regeneration, so I'm not too worried about that. And I have some mana potions now too. Now, how do I upgrade those? And for that matter, what can I use these fish for? I think these are all important questions. Dylan! Help! So the double cod could be used to make a seafood dinner. I see food, I eat it. Ha 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 ha. Ammo reservation potion. 20% chance to not consume ammo. That's really good! Um. Okay, a shark fin. That's something for another day. Um, lesser mana potion. Glowing mushroom to make a mana potion. Okay, that's good to know. The day bloom is, of course, used in so many potions. Some of these are actually very helpful. What about the shine? Okay, shine potion would be nice. Uh, what about the neon tetra? It's just used to make seafood. And the bass? Cook fish. You know what? Let's cook these fish. I got a cook pot. Seafood dinners. Cooked fish. We eat like kings this eve. All right. Well, um, yeah, I want to do some more. I want to try another boss fight, but, um, I'll be right back, okay? All right, I am back and ready. So now that I have, wait, do I have it? Mouth powder, rotten chunks. Okay, yes, I do. Now that I have everything, I'm going to actually fight the Eater of Worlds again. First things first, I need to prepare. And by prepare, I apparently mean get smashed a million times by Eaters of Souls. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop some bombs. In there. Oh! Even better! I want to drain this out of it. One more bomb here. 
Excellent. Keep that. Ah! Not the eaters of souls. Okay, got the worm food. Now, my game plan here is quite simple. I'm going to be using these spiky balls as my primary means of attack. But first things first, I need to start this fight at high health. Also, uh... I guess I'll just use wooden platforms. Or... No, wait. Yeah, what am I saying? I'll use wooden platforms. I want to have some extra footholds. That's... That's Demonite. Okay, well, I can't do anything about that. Oops. Okay, that should be good enough. Okay, now I just need to heal. You know what? Let's just drink the buffs. And let's start this fight. Where is he starting from? Okay, dropping spiky balls. Ah, man, I love it when he does that. It gets all, like, wrapped up. Yeah, since the spiky balls just kind of sit there, it makes it real easy. Okay, started breaking them. And the good thing is, each segment has its own drops. So I got a little bit of demonite lore there, just for killing a couple of pieces. Alright, start some more spiky balls. Unfortunately, when you break him in the middle, he splits into multiple worms, so... Gotta be careful not to make too many of him! Escalating very fast. I very much want to heal. Oh, God, I forgot. I have mana potions. When he gets like this, the... Ah! Uh, dang it! But you can see what I was trying to do there. The problem is, when he gets all wrapped around you, it's hard to... Well... It's hard to avoid um, making a lot of contact with them. Ooh, but I got some shadow scales. That's also good. Okay, so let's start by making the demonite bars. <laughs>